Hey friends and family, it's James with Crawlers and Customs, and today we're going to be removing the stock transmission and installing a lockout to remove the slow speed gears because this truck is getting converted to one of our PTW racing chassis. So you don't have to have a racing chassis to do this if you just want to delete your shift servo and lock it in high speed. Um, all you need are these two little shims and that's part of this kit. Um, you can also download these in the product description for our PTW and print them yourself. Um, but if you buy our kit, it will come with them in the bag and we'll put a link in the description below. So first step, we got to pull that transmission. So let's get to it. All right, so we have the transmission pulled. I took a quick brush to it just to knock the clay off. Uh, one thing that's gonna be important when you're doing this is you're gonna need a really good, tiny Phillips driver. Uh, I believe this is from a jeweler set that I have, but um, the pins for your drive shafts are located with these tiny self-tapping Phillips bolts. So I'm gonna pull these drive shafts off. One thing you may want to note as well, this is your shift shaft, which we're going to be uh, deleting as well. And the forward position, that's your high speed position. And the back position, that's your slow gear. These trucks have open differentials and they're monster trucks. So I don't ever, I've literally never driven it in slow gear. So we're going to effectively remove all these parts and we're going to install those spacers. So now we need to open the transmission. All right, so if you were replacing your motor with the high-speed motor, at this point, you'd swap it out. Apparently, these things are on back order again. This is the stock motor, so it's going to stay in there, but you'd pull those two bolts and slide your new motor in. In this case, we are not doing that because they are back ordered and sold out, and we're just going to uh, continue to, re to disassemble the transmission, and we're gonna leave that um, stock motor in place. All right, so this might look intimidating. Don't be intimidated, it's no big deal. But you can see that we've got two sets of gears here and they're controlled by this little shift fork. So if we move, let's see if we can do it here. If we move the, the shift shaft, we can see it select between these two gears, which is the low speed gear and the high speed gear there in the back. So what we're gonna do now, it's gonna pull out this gear and the shift shaft along with the shift fork. And we're gonna grab our spacers. There's two spacers. One has a hexagonal shape and one has a round opening with a small shoulder. So this is the shoulder side. So when you're installing this, you're going to remove the little uh, locking mechanism from the shift fork. We don't need this anymore. Gonna drop it back in place to engage our high-speed gear. Then we're going to install the hexagonal shape. It's gonna key over the shaft Just like that. Okay. 
Then we're gonna install our shouldered spacer with the shoulder facing up towards the um, top of the shaft or the back of the motor. It's the best way to describe it. So in essence, what we've done is we've gotten rid of the shift fork and the low speed gear and we've pushed the locking mechanism into the high speed gear to lock it in place. And this just butts up against the bearing here on the inside of the transmission. So let's line everything back up. We can see our gears moved around a little bit here. All right, something like that. And we'll line it all up, put it back together. What we'll do is actually start on this side. put this back together, line up the spur shaft, and we'll put a couple bolts back in. All right, so that's it. This transmission is now locked into high speed only. You don't have to worry about it ever coming out of gear or your buddy shifting it into low speed while you're driving, which uh, that's happened to me. I'll set my transmitter down in between races and they'll throw the shifter. But what they didn't realize is that I didn't even have a low speed gear anymore, so joke was on them. All right, so that's it. We've got our transmission locked into high speed. We've pulled a little bit of weight out of the truck by deleting the servo, the shift shaft, the fork, and the low speed gear along with that little bracket. And we're ready to reinstall this. I'm not gonna reinstall the transmission on camera because we're gonna do a full build on his chassis and we're gonna get to that. So we'll catch you on the next video. If you guys like this one, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget that we've got a link in the description below for our PTW chassis which is right here and at the bottom of that product page. Uh, you can always grab and print up these spacers on your own. If not, uh, again, they come with the kit. We'll also put a link in the description below for this electric screwdriver, which tends to be pretty popular. All right, guys, thanks, have a good night. One quick call out I wanted to make on this transmission is once you pull the shift shaft, you will have two small openings. I'll have one here and here. If you're running indoors, it's probably okay to leave that open, but we run on clay a lot so I'm taking an M3 button head and putting it in on one side just to block those off. And then we're gonna take an M2.5 and put it in on the other side. And that's just to keep dirt and grime out of the transmission. All right, guys, thanks.